Springtime season. Springtime, we always have to trim the bushes or the plants that needed to be cut. And this time, I'm showing you all what I did as an ordinary lake life people that can do what stuff you needed to clean up and make it a little bit simple. And cleaning is the best for our motivation, especially during weekend time at the lake. Although the water is cold at the lake and we still have time to clean it up and do landscaping in our home. Well, sooner or later, this after two weeks, we can now do boating and enjoy the moment of summertime. In this video, I'm showing you patiently, nicely and neatly the landscaping work in our little lake house home. You might wonder and ask question about when should I cut my plants down? Yes, pruning to remove damages, dead and diseased parts can be done at any time of the year. Most trees and branches and shrubs, especially those that flowers in the current seasons, new growth should be pruned in a late winter or early spring before the onset of a new growth between March or April. And also keep in your mind that ditters pass in animal infestation and promotes the plant natural shape and healthy growth. We are cutting back the plant that take the whole plant stake down to just few inches. And if shrub, it usually cut down to 12 to 18. And depending on the shrubs, perennials and grasses are usually back to only a few inches above the ground. The cutback method is the best done in a late winter. And always remember, cutting off the leaves allows the remaining healthy foliage to receive more nutrients and improve the plant's appearance. And also remember, trees might be the oldest, largest living organism on earth, but they're not invisible. For a tree to live a long, healthy life in an urban environment, these plants need some human assistance. Outside of the natural growing environment in the wild, trees often require pruning for them to improve clearance, develop a durable structure, and maintain their aesthetics. You might wonder how so. Pruning promotes health by enabling you to get rid of a sickly and diseased plant part. Trimming also helps with insect management, lastly removing dead and dying branches of stems enhances the beauty of your plants. Here is the bad news. Improper pruning could potentially cause severe damage that can, in the most severe cases, contribute to the death of your plant. At the very first, at least, pruning will create wounds which can have a profound impact on a plant and growth and health. In other words, you might need to hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and click the bell notification. As I am perfectly proning requires an extensive training on this. Never undertake your proning task unless you are 100% confident in your skills and your own capabilities for the best outcome. It's highly recommended that you need at least the service the professional with proning trees and shrubs. Keep in mind the reason why we proning is good and necessary for optimum plants and shrub health. Dead branches is hinder the growth of the healthy components, prevention and treatments of the disease, encourage fruit production or the new growth production. The dead branches and overgrowth pose a considerable risk. It allows you to see the beautiful surroundings and better elegant home that will beautify the nature of your home. Always remember after everything you are working hard in this, you will show yourself being neat, presentable, and elegant. And there are still a lot of works at the back. So this is the effect, the result. As you can see, this plant, if you buy this, this is like a million dollar plant. This is a nice landscape beautiful isn't it look nice shape very very beautiful I hope you understand some of the little debris around surrounded by it but it'll be okay at least we saved $50 of our landscaping work it's all clear this is how we make lake life 
adding up to remember the soul of a landscape, the spirits of the elements, and the genius of every place will be revealed to a loving view of nature. <laughs>